America's healthcare advocate, Carrie Hall. Hello, America. Welcome to America's Healthcare Advocate Show, broadcasting coast to coast across the USA here on the HI Radio Network. You can find out more about us by going to our website, America's Healthcare Advocate.com. If you want to learn more about the show or you want to listen to these shows once they are done and up, they are on our 15 podcast platforms. We're on everything from Rumble uh, to, to Spotify, you name it, we're on it, including iHeartRadio, Odyssey Radio. So we're on 15 platforms. We've got a YouTube channel, America's Healthcare Advocate. We've got over half a million views on the YouTube channel now, thanks to all of you out there in our listening and viewing audience. And I want a little shout out this morning. We've got 238 affiliates around the country, but I want a little shout out this morning to KTTN 92.3 FM in Trenton, Missouri and KGOZ 101.5 FM in Trenton, Missouri as well. We want to thank them. We've been on the air up there for I think 20 years now. So it's been a long time, but we're very happy to still be on the air in Trenton, Missouri. All right. Joining me in studio today, we have multiple guests from Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Baron Roberts, manager in small group, individual sales. Barb Benz, a broker for individual and uh, development and sales in uh, the Medicare side. And then Ryan Roth will be joining us in the last two segments of the show. He's the VP of large group. So welcome everybody from Blue Cross this morning. Thank you. Harry. It's been a minute. Baron, since you've been in here, you know <laughs> what I mean? Cool, yeah, <laughs> yeah it has months. been. Yeah, yeah. There, there have been a lot of changes. There's a lot going on. There have been a lot of changes up at Blue KC. So let's just, this is going to be what I call the cornucopia show. We've got a lot to cover today. We're going to talk about Medicare. We're going to talk about ACA, individual and small group. And we're going to talk about large group um, uh, when Ryan comes on and some other products that, that Blue Cross and Blue Shield is offering across the metro. But there's a lot of changes in the marketplace. I thought this would be a great time to do this show before we start rolling into open enrollment for all kinds of, pl- of plans, both Medicare and individual and also small group renewals and large group renewals coming up. So that's why we're doing this today, so we can tell you all what's going on at Blue KC. So let's just start with the overall marketplace, Baron. There's a lot going on. There's going to be a lot going on this year. There is a ton going on, a lot of changes in the marketplace. You know, carriers are exiting the Medicare Advantage space uh, as, as we are uh, at the end of the year. Every day we're getting new announcements on other carriers exiting certain markets, big names across the country. So ever-changing environment. There's a lot of changes for prescription drug coverage this year. A lot of changes in legislation and regulatory requirements, et cetera, that are putting uh, some strain on the, particularly the smaller health plans. And so you're going to see a lot of, uh, of new things this year and a lot of changes. And, and I've heard some saying that, you know, plans will look like they did in 2015, you know, going back in time to, uh, when we first entered the Medicare Advantage space and the benefits and all of that with MA will will drastically change. Wow, I, that's the first time I've heard that one. Back to what it looked like in 2015. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's been a while. Yeah, it has. Yeah. A lot of pressure on the Medicare Advantage plans right now, and I think all of them are trying to figure out how they're going to actually uh, profit uh, being in this space. The pressure, just so we're clear about this, is coming from CMS and the federal government because they're changing reimbursements, they're changing all Uh, all different elements of these plans, making it more and more difficult. Here's the thing that's interesting to me about this. On the Medicare Advantage side, you've got more people enrolled in Medicare Advantage now than are actually enrolled in original Medicare. But you're going to see that start to change, and you're going to probably see it start to change a lot this year. Barb, let's talk about Medicare supplements, because the Blue Cross Medicare supplement is kind of near and dear to my heart, because my wife and I have been on it for 10 years. Yes, I am 75, chronologically challenged, like a lot of you. and, and, you know, I can't say enough about how that plan has worked for us. You know, my wife has suffers from a critical illness, heart failure. And when we needed specialty care and we had to go to Wash U, Barnes Jewish, to access um, Dr. Alvarez, who is one of the top transplant surgeons in the country and who treats heart failure, we were able to do it very smoothly with no problems because we had the Blue Cross and Blue Shield Medicare supplement. So contrast the advantages of MedSup over the Med Advantage plans because there are some significant advantages in the Medicare supplement. Barb? Sure. Um, as we just heard in the Medicare Advantage network right now, we're hearing change. We're hearing change of networks, change in providers, change in benefits, change in rates. The My friends and family that are 65 plus, the one thing they don't like is change. 
And that's where a Medicare supplement plan could be a great fit because they are predictable and they're consistent. Um, predictable in that when you're looking up for a provider like you and your wife is, have experienced, you can go anywhere that Medicare is accepted. So people like that when you're sitting thinking about what if I'm traveling, what if I have another house, you can go anywhere Medicare is accepted. Um, consistent, meaning not a lot of change in benefits for um, those for the Medicare supplement plans. I don't think ours has changed at all. I, no. I, I, I don't know what the premium increases have been, but they haven't been very big. Um, I certainly would have heard about it if they had from my wife, but they have not. They have, mm-hmm. not, they have not been. And we've been on that plan for over 10 years. So um, they are consistent. That's yes. one of the wonderful things about them is, is the consistency with them. And for Blue KC, even our the consistency of our rates, our rates changed over the past 10 years, an average of 3.7%, which is well amazing. below the market level. It, it, um, it's well below inflation. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Good point. Good point. So um, we do have some changes coming out um, on our Blue KC plans. We're actually adding three new plans. So our four existing plans are staying as is. Um, we're adding three new plans, high deductible G, plan K, and plan L. And we really want these to appeal, or we think they will appeal to that Medicare Advantage demographic. So let's go, and here's, and and this is important to understand. The biggest difference here for us, and the reason we've never done Medicare Advantage is access. It's really simple. Medicare supplement, you can go anywhere in the country. If you have to go to Barnes Jewish, if you have to go to, uh, you know, if you have if you have to go to Mayo Clinic, uh, it, it, whatever the case, you know, whatever the case may be, you have direct network access with these Medicare supplement plans. So contrast that with the narrow networks on the Medicare Advantage plans, and here in the metro. So you're out, and you heard me say hello to our folks, our friends up in Trenton. You're in Trenton, you're in Maryville, you're in Clinton, you're in Harrison. You know, talk about the access they have under the med sub plans, especially these new ones versus access under a typical med advantage plan. Well, sometimes it's more difficult the more remote you get because the network is controlled by the the insurance provider. Right. So we've already seen some change on the MA side where with um, different hospital networks wanting to pull out big ones. We're not talking a little small hospital, even re- a remote one, but even in the more metro areas, some of those um, hospital networks wanting to pull out of the, met- the, the MA market. Um, so there is change and you don't know if that's going to change in six months or mid-year. Yeah, and that's not the case with the med subs. Correct. It completely Anywhere different. Anywhere Medicare is accepted. Yeah, absolutely. So, Baron, a little bit about these plans, this Plan G overall. Um, you know, you, you all have developed some plans now, Plan K and Plan L, and the purpose is to allow people to transition. The, you, you like Blue Cross? I mean, if you... If you like if you like Blue Cross, you want to stay in that Blue Cross network, and you want that local customer service and everything else that goes with it. This is a way to do that. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, yeah, good point you bring up there, Carrie. So um, first and foremost, all of these Medicare Advantage members that are losing coverage at the end of the year with Blue KC will have a guarantee issue right into a Medicare supplement plan. That's really important. I'm going to stop him and ask him to go back through that because when you move from a Medicare Advantage to a Med Sub. You go through underwriting. What you just heard is they're waiving the underwriting. Am I right or wrong? That's correct. Yep. So that is a requirement uh, put forth by CMS that uh, indicates that that we have to accept anybody who applies for Medicare supplement plan that's on our Medicare Advantage plan that is going away at the end of the year. So that's a big deal. And that's a very easy way for people to make this transition, improve their access, and have one of these plans. That's correct. So uh, we developed these three additional plans, high deductible G, uh, plan K and Plan L, MedSup plans um, that have lower premiums. So the, the G is looking anywhere between $51 and up, depending on your age and the state you're in. Are you serious? Yeah, it's per only month. $51? Per month. That's remarkable. Yep. The K and the L are in the $70, $80, $90 range, depending on um, your age. That's the entry rate. Um, if you're older than uh, 65, you may have a different rate, but... Um, but yeah, the, the purpose was to provide plans that are affordable for members to be able to have the access they need in the area that they live in. 
When I come back from the break, I'm going to ask Barb to go into what is different about these from the standpoint of everyday access and what do you pay? What does your out-of-pocket look like on a Medicare supplement plan like this versus a Medicare Advantage plan? Stay tuned. We'll be right back after the break. You're listening to America's Healthcare Advocate, broadcasting here on the HIA radio network, coast to coast across the USA. We've got more. Don't go anywhere. The Golden Rule. Treat others as you want to be treated. I'm Steve Keeker, and this is one of the founding principles of my firm, Senior Care Consulting. Since 2002, our value statement has included honor our mother and father, respect our elders, care for those in need, and treat your family as our own. We've been honored to help hundreds of families make one of the most difficult decisions they could ever make serving them in their greatest time of need. If you're looking for someone who can provide you experienced and objective guidance when searching for a senior care community, reach out today and discover the services of Senior Care Consulting at 913-945-2800. 913-945-2800. Know your options and choose with care at SeniorCareConsulting.com. Welcome back. You're listening to America's Healthcare Advocate Show, broadcasting coast to coast across the USA here on the HIA radio network. You know, all these shows are on the podcast. So if you want to, you know, tell somebody about this, maybe it's your spouse, maybe it's a friend, whatever podcast platform. There are 15 of them. YouTube channel, America's Healthcare Advocate. The shows are videotaped and put up there. So if you want to tell them about it, they can go up, they can listen to the show. And just like we did it here live in the studio. Also, uh, if you want to learn more about the products we've talked about, we're going to talk a little more about, you can go to bluekc.com. That's the website, bluekc.com. Or you can call 1-800-867-9014. Here's the thing. When you call 1-800-867-9014, you're actually talking to somebody here in Kansas City. They're not sitting in Ohio or New York or Guatemala, okay, or the Philippines. They're here, okay, right down there on Main Street. And here's another thing. You can actually go down there and meet with a representative if you want to do that. So there are multiple ways to get with the folks from Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Kansas City. And also, obviously, reach out to your local broker that will have all of this information as well. So let's go, uh, Barb, and talk a little bit about um, the Medicare Plan G and that, that, you know, you've got G, K, and L. That's too much to get into right now, but let's just, let's do G so they get an understanding of how it works and why this can be an excellent benefit for people that want to exit the Med Advantage state, especially with all the changes that are coming, Mm -hmm. Barb. Well, with MedAdvantage, members are used to kind of paying as they go. They they don't um, pay a high premium or a premium, but then they're going to pay co-pays and co-insurance, et cetera. So it's a little bit hard to predict what they're going to end up paying. With a Medicare supplement like Plan G, typically it picks up where Medicare leaves off. They'll pay their premium, but then Medicare will typically pay about 80%, and then Medicare supplement, the plan picks up the other 20%. So it is very predictable for a member to kind of budget and understand what they're going to pay. Yeah, and it, it, it there's not that constant barren copay for this and a copay for that and a copay for something else. It's 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 a little hard to get used to that if you're on a med advantage because believe me, under Medicare supplement, it's a whole different world the way it works, right? Yeah, yeah. You're not uh, going to get that feeling of having to pull out your checkbook every time you go to the doctor's office. Yeah, it makes a lot of difference, and the, and the plans are very very different. So in, in the way in the way, it, and let's again a little bit about the network here in the KC Metro. If they're on the Med Sub, they've got a much broader network. Am I correct? Absolutely. So you've got access to KU, you've got access to St. Luke's, you've got access to the HCAs, and you've you know, and if you're up in Trenton, you know, you're up in Maryville, you've got access up there to the local rural hospitals. So all of that comes with these plans, right? Yes. So let's talk a little bit about uh, 365, because Blue 365 is something that I have used, my wife has used. Um, I wear hearing aids. Um, They're very expensive. Um, They're called Phonax, and they're about 2,500 bucks a piece. Um, We were able to get them for about 1,500 bucks a piece um, because we access Blue 365. So go into some of those benefits, Barb, because there are a lot of things available there that are just not available, um, uh, you know, on, on other plans. And it's easy to access. So first, all a member does is they go to blue365deals.com slash blue KC. 
All they need is their ID card. But to the, to your point with the hearing aid discounts, on all tiers of hearing aids, they'll get a 30 to 60% discount. You can get discounts on rental cars. You can get even discounts on individual tickets to Disney up to $60. You can get 35% off frames. Do you have access to gyms? There's there's one tile that you can click on and for $19 a month and you don't have to commit to all year, you have access or you can choose from up to 13,000 gyms. So that that is significantly different, obviously. Yes. Let's switch gears. We got a little bit of time left in this segment, Baron, and talk about uh, you know what's going to be available on with Spiracare on the small group plans this year. We are rolling out a brand new Spiracare copay plan in small group, which ultimately was designed to allow for families that wanted to have access to Spiracare, the low cost share at Spiracare, but also low cost outside of Spiracare at Blue Select Plus providers. So. This plan was designed with co-pays um, for PCPs and Blue Select Plus, specialists, inpatient hospital, um, et cetera. So previously, we have had a plan design that is set up with the deductible and out-of-pocket on the SpireCare plan. And any care that's received outside of SpireCare is subject to the deductible. But this is, uh, I think, a game changer and will allow people to enroll in a SpireCare plan and still access their, their PCPs if they want to, or if they have families and want to see a pediatrician and, and would like to see care outside of SpiraCare at, at a low cost share, that, 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 plan, that plan makes it available. That's pretty significant change. Yep. It, um, you know, the co-pays are, are very low for out of, out of SpiraCare, $75 for PCP. Uh, don't quote me right now, but I think it's 150 for a specialist um, to uh, t- to members that are seeking care outside of Spira. But if they're in Spira and they walk in, they're not paying anything. Correct. Yep. Okay. And yep. That, and so that's a big deal. Yeah, it so is for sure. You're you're seeing your primary care physician. Uh, if you have behavioral health issues, this is a big deal because I, there are there are other plans out there that offer access to primary care clinics, but I've never seen a plan yet that has the behavioral health element that SpiraCare has. And talk about that a little bit. Yeah, the behavioral health component is a, is a, is a key um, with SpiraCare and has been a major, major focal point for us. We've been wanting to focus on um, providing um, access to the behavioral health resources. As a component of SpiraCare, we've gather data that supports that we're addressing the care needs for behavioral health. 14% of members that are attributed to SpiraCare PCP are leveraging the behavioral health component of SpiraCare. That's remarkable. Yeah. Yeah, we've actually had some of the clinicians here on the broadcast and you know it, it's it's nice to know that you know if you've got a child that's having a problem or if you're having a problem with things I, I was just literally on the phone before this broadcast uh, talking about a woman we're trying to help with her GoFundMe page and she's got an 18 and 19 year old and this woman is critically ill and the kids are suffering from anxiety and other issues. And so, you know, having a place where they can go and see somebody and talk to somebody and get some help without having to go outside the system is a big deal, I think. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, when we designed Spire Care, and I think it dates dates back to 2015 when we I, rolled out. I was out. there. I remember. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, we, we went about it in a way that, um, We wanted to be a holistic approach. We wanted the PCP and the care guides to be the quarter pack of the care and ensuring that there weren't medications that were conflicting each other, ensuring that the people were getting access to the the, the, uh, specialists that they were looking to see. Um, There weren't duplicative appointments being set, uh, which we see out there in the system today. So we see SpiraCare addressing the care needs uh, in a lot of different ways, whether it be pharmacy, behavioral health, you know, primary care, lab work, x-rays, et cetera. There's a lot of services being done. How many, how many facilities around the Metro? There's nine. There's nine nine facilities, Metro. You can find them on bluekc.com. That's the website. If you want information, 1-800-867-9014. Someone right here will be happy to chat with you. They've got a lot of options. They are the hometown carrier. There is a difference in the way they do things here than what you see with the conglomo large national carriers. And I urge you to take a moment, whether you're a senior citizen or you're looking for individual coverage or even an employer with small group, we're going to talk more about that, to go up on the website and take a look or call your local broker could make a difference. We'll be right back after the break. You're listening to America's Healthcare Advocate broadcasting here on the HI Radio Network, coast to coast across the USA. Don't go anywhere.
Welcome back to America's Healthcare Advocate. In studio with me today, Ryan Roth and Baron Roberts from Blue Cross Blue Shield. We're now going to segue in to talking a little more about the individual products, and then we're going to talk a lot about the small group products and what's being offered out there. A lot of challenges to small business owners, a lot of issues that they're having to deal with with regard to the escalating costs of healthcare across the country. So we're going to talk about these plans because there are a lot of innovative pieces to these that are very different than some of the other things in the marketplace. If you want to learn more about these plans, you can go to the website bluekc.com or call 1-800-867-9014, 1-800-867-9014. They'll be happy to chat with you. As I said earlier, Blue Cross and Blue Shield people are right here in Kansas City. You're not called in Guatemala or you're not in a call center someplace in Illinois or, or New York or whatever the case may be. So these are local folks that actually know what the networks and the hospitals look like here and the providers, and they can be very helpful to you if you want to call and get information. Once again, the number 1-800-867-9014 for or the website bluekc.com. All right, Baron, we touched on this just a moment ago with Barb. Let's get into a little more about the individual plans because you've kind of expanded that and what's being offered this year um, on the individual Obamacare ACA plans as they're commonly known in the marketplace. We've got several ACA plans available this year coming up and open enrollment starts uh, November 1st, as a reminder uh, for everybody out there. Um, we have Varying products with varying networks. So we've got Blue Select, Blue Select Plus, and Preferred Care Blue. And just to name some details of those networks, Blue Select Plus is probably our most restrictive network. And then Preferred Care Blue is our, our broadest network. And so there's a price difference in those. So let's talk about that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So as you look at um, plans that are available out there, you look at the networks, you look at the metallic level, you look at where you're at as well and what options are available to you. The broader the network, typically you're going to have more expensive costs because you're going to have access to more providers. The smaller net, the network, the inverse, et cetera. The metallic level will also impact your pricing. So if you go from a bronze plan, which typically has a higher deductible, more out-of-pocket cost share, up to a gold plan, a gold plan is going to have more out-of-pocket up front in the, in the terms of premium. And then you'll have uh, lower out-of-pocket costs as you go. And so as you're making those decisions, you've got to weigh all those different aspects of those, of those plan designs. Yeah, and, and the, the problem with that is when people try to do this on their own, they get confused. One of the things that people have a tendency to do is to go right to the bottom line and they look at the price. That's great, except you better figure out what the benefits are before you jump on a price. Okay, and I urge you, we've had people on this show who have gone to the government websites and tried to do this, and then they found themselves in a nightmare. We did a great show on here with a woman who did that, had to go back and make a simple adjustment on a name change, and she lost her coverage. She didn't even know she lost it, and she was pregnant, and it took six months to get it back. That's why I'm telling you to take the time to call them you know, here in Kansas City. Let one of their reps walk you through the plans and help you with it if you need help. That number is 1-800-867-9014 or go to your local broker who does this every day. There are a lot of moving pieces in this plan. You might find a bronze plan works really well. It's a narrow network, You don't, but if you don't have a lot going on, Okay, you know, maybe you're an empty nester at 55 or 60 and you're in really good health and you're not ready for Medicare. That might be a great fit for you, right? Yeah, yeah. I think you need to look at your budget, understand where you're at, what health care services that you're going to need. Um, and then I, I do recommend, as Carrie mentioned, to, you know, give us a call yeah. or, or call your local broker to figure out and navigate this this crazy space. <laughs> you said it right there. Navigate the crazy space. You know, the other thing is, for instance, I think, you know, a lot of people land on the silver plans because they work really well and you've got kind of the, a, a larger network. Prices are still reasonably, you know, under control with regard to the cost. And uh, it, it, if you've got children, you've got, you need access, you need all those. Those are things that you can do with the silver plan as well. Yeah, absolutely. That's like the the middle tier middle tier plans that are available. It's the uh, kind of the hybrid uh, zone between the bronze and the gold. It, it might be a, a, vi a viable spot for somebody. And how does how do those plans interface with uh, Spiracare now? Yeah, so we have um, various plans that have access to Spiracare. To find out more about those plans and which ones do, I, I recommend calling us or your broker to walk through each one of those. But some of the plans that we do have available 
have access to SpiraCare. So it's important to understand that because there's a way where you can lower costs by using SpiraCare, but have this great unlimited access to the primary care clinics with everything, as we talked about, behavioral health, there's x-rays, labs, all these things come as part of that package. And that's a great way for you to be able to do that. So so if you're looking in the individual market, this is a great year to talk to the folks at Blue KC. Ryan, let's segue into the small group model because Small business owners, I hear this all the time, are struggling with costs and are struggling with how they're going to manage to provide benefits for their employees, but keep it a cost, keep it in line with the cost that's reasonable. Let's talk about what Blue KC is offering this year because you have some unique offerings, right? Sure, we do. We have a number of different options, and I'll start off by mentioning that small group has been very competitive in recent years. So if you haven't looked at a small group plan with Blue KC in recent years, I would encourage you to do so. We have a variety of price points from inexpensive plans to really rich benefits that tend to be more expensive and all kinds of funding types. So I'll start with ACA. Just as Baron had mentioned in the individual market, we have ACA plans in small group as well for employers with two to 50 employees, number of options available within ACA. We have fully insured options from 51 to 99 array of plans available there as well. And then a real popular plan that we've been um, selling for several years now is our level funded ASO. And it's available available for five to 99. Uh, that's been a significant growth place for us. It is an underwritten plan like fully insured is. So your employees have to go through an underwriting process to set your rate different from, than what it is from ACA, but very popular and growing because um, they tend to be, if you're, if you're a healthy group, it tends to be less expensive plan potentially than ACA could be. And you have the ability to get a refund if you run better than expected at the end of the year. Yeah, so that's, that's a great piece. And we used to do that a lot with clients when we had benefits by design. Um, and those plans are great because employers, you know, you're trending to a group where, you know, they're under age 50. Um, and they're in reasonably good health. Maybe you've got one or two people with problems, but those plans can work really well. And there is some cost sharing there, but it's a chance for you to pull some money back in at the end of the year if you have a great year. Correct. Yeah, yes. so that, that's different. Talk a little bit about the other plans and access to SpiraCare on group, because you know what I'm hearing from people out there is when they get into SpiraCare, they're not going anywhere after that. They love it. You know, you've got you've got a you know a satisfaction rate of over ninety percent. It's really quite remarkable what you know what you're doing. Talk about why that why that's something employers can offer their employees, and it, it knocks down the barriers to access. Brian, SpiraCare has <coughs> been extremely popular for us over the last few years, and it's available in all segments. So as Barb and Barron had mentioned earlier, it's available on our Medicare options, our ACIA options. It's available in small group. It's available in large group, not on every single plan, but a number of them have those SpiraCare options available. Why is it so popular? It's, it's easy and includes a lot of services. So when you go, it's advanced primary care. When you go into a facility, it's clean. You get in very quickly. You don't have to wait into a wait in a waiting room for a long period of time. There's a number of services included. You can get x-rays. You can get lab work. Behavioral health is there. All age ranges. So we have uh, doctors that serve children all the way up to, to Medicare age and everywhere in between. So we've just found that You also get a lot of time and attention from the doctors when you're there. So they really spend the time. They're not trying to churn and get to a to a number of patients for day per day. They want to spend the time with you, the quality time to make sure that they're they're getting your issue resolved or addressed as effectively as possible. So here's a handy little piece of information. Do you know the average time a person spends with a primary care physician in this country? It's seven and a half minutes. That's it. Seven and a half minutes, okay? You might be there for an hour, but you're gonna see the doctor for seven and a half minutes. What Ryan just said about SpiraCare, that's a huge difference. When you go in and sit down with that doctor, that nurse practitioner, that clinician, whatever it may be, they've got the time They've got the time to listen to you. They've got the time to talk to you. And they've got the time to help you deal with your health issues. It's a big deal and it makes a difference. And I'll tell you something else. If you're an employer, your employees are gonna love that. 
Okay, they're going to love it because it's a great way to receive primary care and feel like you're actually being listened to. If you want more information, go to the website, bluekc.com, bluekc.com, the phone number 1-800-867-9014, 1-800-867-9014. One of their folks are happy to answer the phone and help you. Uh, and also talk to your local broker. If you've got a broker you work with, get on the phone and give them a call and have him tell you about these plans. They might make a big difference for you. We'll be right back after the break. You're listening to America's Healthcare Advocate, broadcasting here on the HI Radio Network, coast to coast across the USA. Welcome back. You're listening to America's Healthcare Advocate Show, broadcasting coast to coast across the USA. My producer behind the microphone, Mr. Darren Willard, behind the camera and the lights, Mr. Dave Thiessen. Uh, in studio with me, Baron Roberts and Ryan Roth from Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Kansas City. You know, we're doing this show because it, here we go into open enrollment for AEP and open enrollment for the individual plans in November for uh, the Obamacare ACA. And then you've got renewal coming up on all types of group plans. Do yourself a favor, okay? Take the time to take a look at what Blue KC is offering. Compare it. Look at it and look, look at the Spiracare plans. Look at the at the different level plans, the bronze, the silver, the gold on the individual side, and look at their small group plans. There's a reason why they're the number one carrier in the Kansas City metro. There's a reason for that. A lot of it has to do with the pricing and the benefits, but also their customer service, which, again, I'll reiterate, is right here in Kansas City. There's a reason they won all those J.D. Power Awards. Uh, and it was because what they do, they do really well. There is a difference. So you need to correct me on Spiral Care. So I said 90% satisfaction. Go ahead. Yeah, thanks, Kerry. So, um, and we'll hit on those JD Power Awards here in a minute. But uh, so for um, Spiral Care, our customer effort score at Spiral Care is 95%. That's it. Yeah, you know, that really, that's remarkable. Think of something else to, in today's world where customer service score is 95%. I'd like to know, okay? Because to me, that's remarkable. Yeah, it is pretty outstanding. So just in general, from a market perspective, the customer effort score lands closer to 65% across health plans. Blue KC lands at 74% today. And Spire Care lands at 95%. So members that go to Spire Care are very happy. And I'll just note that this is an outside firm, third party, that's measuring these results. Correct. And Blue KC employees pride ourselves and are rewarded based upon our customer effort score. Yeah, and it's a big difference. It always yeah. has been. Uh, and, 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 and that's to me, you know, there, there's a lot to be said for that, especially when you're dealing with, you're an employer with employees. You don't want them coming back to you going, I can't get anybody to answer the phone. I can't get anybody to help me. That's not going to happen at Blue KC. Ryan, let's switch gears a little bit now and talk about um, no increases in some of the some of the other benefits that are being offered and people love to hear about no increases right yeah that's correct in our small group segment our dental vision and our life insurance offering which our life insurance offering is through us able no increases for 2025 on any of those plans so we've had very good um, consistency over the course of the last few years with low to no increases on those products. Uh, very nice to have that where you 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 know that price consistency with uh, inflation the way it is right now in so many other areas. It's nice to know you're not getting an increase there. You can bundle those products with our medical. It's nice, easy package um, so that it, it can come on one ID card. So it, it's a good batch of products to bundle together. So, you know, we, Lori and I have had that dental plan for, I don't know how many years, long before we, even, we ever got Medicare. We're still on it. Talk a little bit about, because a lot of, bit of improvements were made over the years to the Blue KC dental plan in terms of network. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah. Yeah. We have a, we have a strong network in the Kansas City area. Um, it's, as you had mentioned, we've added dentists over the course of years. So it's, it's in a good place now. Additionally, I would say that when it comes to those products, we just hear repeatedly that customers are very happy with those products. Not many complaints. And Barry, there's some other opportunities that are discounts being offered under under various plans. Let's talk a little about some of those that come with the Blue KC program. Absolutely. So Blue KC members have access to what we call Blue 365 deals. It's our discount program that's available to our members. Um, that includes discounted gym memberships. Discounts off hearing aids, travel services, rental cars, Disney experiences, 
And there, there is a whole slew of different services and products that have discounts just for being a Blue Cross member. And that's available all, all across all the product lines Correct. now? Yep. Yep. For each member at Blue KC, they've got access to the Blue 365 deals. So whether they're on uh, one of the Medicare supplement plans or whether they're on an ACA individual plan or whether they're on um, a group health insurance plan, all of those benefits that we're talking about come through. That includes uh, discounts on glasses, hearing aids, as I talked about, all these other things, gym memberships, et cetera, yep. that are available through the Blue KC 365. It really is a benefit you can use. It's not just a lot of fluff out there. That's really something people can drill down on, and it makes a difference, and it makes a cost difference to people. Yeah, yeah. When you're looking at all of your expenses throughout the year, you know, this is, you know, you're looking at your medical expenses, but this also helps support some of those other expenses that you might have already in your in your life. Right, you know, we talk a lot about about the volatility in the marketplace. You know, on the on the uh, on the on the Medicare side, et cetera, et cetera. You know, why should employers take the time to take a look at what the plans are the Blue KC is offering, especially on the small group side? Yeah, yeah, and I, I would say this really applies across segments, whether it's individual, small group, or large group. Uh, you're going to get outstanding customer service, as you had mentioned a couple times in the other segments. We pride ourselves in a local team that's really ingrained in the community. In addition to the customer service, we have price stability in the small group segment. Year in and year out, we've had that price stability where we don't have the large swings up and down in price like many of our competitors do. And how long has Blue Cross and Blue Shield been in Kansas City and servicing the Kansas City Metro? Yeah, well over 85 years. Okay, there you have it. Okay, 85 years. They're not going anywhere. They're here. They're, they're our hometown carrier. There are a lot of advantages. There's a reason why, you know, when we had the when we had benefits by design, our plan was the Blue Cross and Blue Shield plan on the group side. There's a reason why Lori and I have been Blue Cross and Blue Shield members for ever since we moved to Kansas City 30 some years ago. So there's a difference in these products, there's a difference in service and something you need to understand. Especially, I urge you, if you're an employer, take the time to look at what they're offering. If you're tired of your employees coming back to you and saying, I had to call the 1-800, nobody cares, nobody's helping me. I've been transferred to three different apartments. That's what happens with these large national plans. That is not what happens with Blue KC. It's very different. It's a different model than the hometown carrier for a reason. You're talking to somebody that you go to church with, to the grocery store with, is probably on your PTA somewhere. So there is a reason. That's why I suggest that. If you want information, 1-800-867-9014, 1-800-867-9014, the website, bluekc.com. And now I leave you with this thought from Dr. Martin Luther King. Americans must learn to live together as brothers and sisters, or we will surely perish together as fools. Those words were never truer than they are today. Thank you for listening to America's Healthcare Advocate. Goodbye, America. Goodbye, America.